All parties in the matter of Kakamo Capizzi versus Butnik Shinla Butnik. Step forward. Yolanda Kakamo and her daughter, Charity Capizzi, are suing their former landlord, Donna Butnik Schindler, and her brother, Richard Butnik, for an illegal eviction and moving costs. This is your daughter. It is. Is that correct? Your daughter and her daughter signed a lease to live in, the, in a condo that is owned by you or managed by you. I manage it. My sister here owns it. Yes. And it's an apartment complex. When did you sign the lease? On September 1st of 2016. And it didn't work out? No, it did not. And it didn't work out because, well, I don't know because. <laughs> I don't actually care about because. They're in the business of renting out apartments. That's what they do for a living. Absolutely. And you paid rent? Mm -hmm. Not, uh-huh, it's not an answer. Yes, the answer is yes, you yes. paid rent. We paid rent. You paid your first month's rent? Yes. You paid his last month's rent? No, we did not pay the last month's rent. So you paid first month's rent and a security deposit? That's correct, of $1,300. Okay. And how much was the rent? The rent was 1600 So you look like nice people. You move mm -hmm. in, you've paid your rent, and then all of a sudden these people whose business it is mm -hmm. to rent apartments to people who can pay rent, which clearly you did, told you they wanted you to move. Yes. And that's what your lawsuit is about. Your lawsuit is about an illegal eviction and you also want your moving costs. Yes. They have a ridiculous counterclaim for two months rent, which I'm gonna get over in short order. So since you're the one who seems to be doing most of the talking, I'm going <laughs> to ask you the questions. Okay. And I rarely ask people what they think, because what they think is not important mm -hmm. in the facts of the case. But why would you think that people whose business it is mm -hmm. to rent apartments yes. asked you and your nice mother and your six-year-old child mm -hmm. to move after a month? After a month? No, they um, asked us to move in October of 2017 is when we received oh. the notice. So I, we had okay, been there so, for over a year. Oh. Okay, so yes. they asked you to move a year later when you no longer had a lease. Yes. You were month to month tenant. Month to month, yes, that's right. Oh, correct. so we don't have a lease. Well, that makes it easy. So all they had to do was give you 30 days notice yes. to move. On what day did you get your notice that they wanted you to we move? We received the notice on October 4th. Well, that's not even what you say in your complaint. You say that they gave you notice on October 3rd. Want to see? What is the date? It's the 3rd. The 3rd? Mm -hmm. I don't know who it is who signed this thing. Somebody want to look at it? I personally did not receive the notice. Well, then why don't you give me that as an answer? I didn't get the notice. My mother was the one that received it. On what date did you receive the notice? Uh, October 3rd. And on what date did you move out? What date did you move your last piece of furniture out of the apartment? November 5th. You were there 30 days? Yes. So what's your complaint? We were wrongfully evicted. No, you weren't. They can evict you because they don't like you anymore. They use the term they, use. Just a sec. They can tell you that they want you out on 30 days notice. That's what they can do. Absolutely. And you had 30 days but, notice. I didn't ask you anything. And you had 30 days, so I don't know what you're doing here. 